Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, Skylum Software has announced the latest version of Luminar, Luminar AI. It's currently available for pre-order. And since my Luminar videos are probably my amongst my most popular videos, I thought I'd tell you what I know about it. I was uh, able to be in a meeting with several other uh, people with the CEO of Skylum and some other representatives from Skylum, and they told us a little bit about Luminar AI. They actually kept most of the information pretty close to the vest, but um, it sounds like it's very, very exciting. Unfortunately, I didn't get a beta copy of it. I haven't seen it. All I saw were screenshots, and I'm going to share the screenshots I saw with you in this video. So I don't know a lot about it, but the little bit they said, it sounds like it's going to be really uh, tremendous. Uh, no other way to put it. Now, uh, instead of calling it Luminar 5, obviously they're calling it AI for artificial intelligence. And those of you that have been paying attention to Luminar through the years, uh, you know over the last maybe 18 months or so, they've really embraced AI. And they have um, have a lot of different AI features in Luminar 4. You know, you could uh, model someone's face, fix their eyes, fix their skin. Um, you could add structure to an image. Uh, you could add a sky to an image with, you know, just a click or two. Uh, so AI has... Um, been incorporated in Luminar 4 quite heavily. Well, what they're saying is that all that stuff is going to be in Luminar AI, but there's going to be more AI. Also, uh, what they were talking about and what I kind of came up with as they were talking is that there's been kind of um, an evolution of post-processing um, over the years since digital phot photography started price since you know photoshop one was released that is first um it was really slider based you had to go in and you had to know what those sliders did you had to know how shadows maybe affected the image compared to let's say the black slider and you had to know all this stuff so you came in and moved all these uh, sliders then um AI came into it. So you didn't really have to know layers necessarily anymore to replace a sky. You didn't have to know all these technical uh, things to uh, get what you wanted done. Uh, so you were able to do things using AI. The next level of AI, um, the best I could derive, is not only does the application use AI to allow you to do things you want to do, but then the application starts to learn you and the application starts to understand how you like to process an image. So to me, that's the next level of AI. And from what I gather from talking to them, that's incorporated in Luminar AI. So Luminar AI will... Um, I, again, I didn't see the application, but I guess it will have some feature to it where it will start to understand how you like to process images and will help you um, do it in a much faster, more efficient way. Um, they were talking about how there's really two types of photographers in the world today. Uh, one is the biggest group, and that is just people like to take photos, and they like to share them with their friends, their family, and they just enjoy it for their, their personal enrichment. You know, they just like to take photos. The other um, type could be a professional photographer. They do weddings, they do portraiture, and things like that, and they need to process images as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And not only that, they need to make sure when they process those images, uh, they're processing them in their style. So it looks like they took those images and not like another photographer took those images. Uh, so that is part of the second group. Also included in the second group are, let's say, artists who have an idea of what they are creating um, 
they're not necessarily a professional photographer. They're just like a photographic artist and they're, they know what they're creating. They don't necessarily like sitting in front of the computer processing the images, but they have a goal of what they want done and they do it. So that is, you know, that second group. And what they were saying is they're trying to make Luminar so it appeals to both groups and they're not alienating one group over the other. So they're not um, creating a product that is super easy for the professional to use and they could use it um, very efficiently. But then again, it's not, uh, it alienates the larger group that, uh, you know, the everyday person who just wants to take photos because they enjoy it. It's, you know, really a big part of their life. And um, they, they wanted to create something that helps both groups achieve what they want to achieve. And they said with artificial intelligence, uh, they're able to do that. Um, so uh, what they've said is they've rebuilt Luminar AI from the ground up. They've made it so that it's a lot faster uh, than previous versions of Luminar. Um, and they, you know, just said that it, it, it's a lot more streamlined and it works better. Now, again, I haven't had the opportunity to use it. If I ever get my hands on a beta copy and I'm able to share some features with you, I definitely will. Now, the interface looks similar, but it is uh, slightly different. You can see along the top here, this is again, a, a screenshot, and this is all we got to see as well. You can see along the top there, it has catalog templates, edit, publish, that of course, you know, is different than the um, previous versions. On the right-hand side is kind of similar. You have the different tabs. You can see that currently they're in the essentials tab, and there's those creative tabs in the face or portrait tab, and there's a pro tab there. Um, again, the product isn't released yet, so this may change, but this is what they showed us. Now, what they were talking about is that templates tab. Um, Luminar looks are going to be replaced with templates. And any t looks you currently own, they could be, um, uh, they will work in Luminar AI. I guess they have to get converted or something, but they will work. But templates are more powerful than looks because templates bring in that third thing I talked about where the software starts to learn what you like to do. And somehow they incorporated that AI technology in templates. So that will, um, again, they wouldn't even click on the tab. So, so we weren't able to see it. But uh, supposedly with templates, uh, when you load an image in the way they explained it, and I'm paraphrasing, you would load an image into um, uh, Luminar AI, and it would suggest some templates that they think you would want to use. And you have one of three things you could do. You could, well, four things actually. You could choose the template because it's exactly what you want and you're done. Or you could choose the template as a starting point and then start processing it from that point on. All the sliders are there. Um, nothing's changed in that regard. So you can come in and move sliders around. It's not like a smartphone app where you just pick a, a look and all of a sudden it's done. You can't do anything to it. There's all those sliders there so you could go and use the template as a starting point. Uh, the third thing you could do is you could use the template and just tweak it slightly. And the fourth thing you could do is you could ignore the template altogether and just process the image the way you want to. Uh, so uh, that's that third factor of AI where the application starts to learn how you like to process your images and hopefully will save you a lot of time. And this is where they're saying it, it will help uh, the everyday photographer who just enjoys taking photos and the professional, the prof like many times you talk to wedding professionals and they'll be up all night processing the images from a wedding shoot. If they could save a lot of time because the application only know already knows where they're going with it, then, um, they're going to love this application. Similarly for the person who just loves photography has no aspirations to be a professional um, has no aspirations to have their images in galleries or anything like that. They just want to take great photos because it, they enjoy it. Uh, this should be uh, the application for them as well. Now, uh, again, they have those AI things. They have the portrait. Uh, they've enhanced everything uh, from what they said. So 
um, everything is better than it was in Luminar 4. So anything that is duplicated from Luminar 4 into Luminar AI, like, you know, skin retouching, um, stuff like that, it's better in Luminar AI. It's been improved and refined and will run faster. Um, so again, they, um, powerful doesn't mean complex. They made it so it's as easy to use. Um, that's what they're saying. So it sounds really, really exciting. Um, I'm really, uh, can't wait to get a copy of it to see how it runs and how it works. Now, they, I mentioned at the top they're having um, pre-sale on it. They didn't give us a date when it's going to be released, although the CEO did say that it would be late November, early December. Uh, so the, they have an early bird price. The first 30,000 people that buy it, if you've never owned any Skyland product before, it's $79. That's a saving of $20. And if you have owned any Luminar or any, any Skyland product, that would be Luminar or Aurora, uh, you get a $10 loyalty discount. So you could get it for $69. And from what I understand, my discount code will not work on that. Uh, you could try it, but from what I understand, it's not going to work. But my discount code will work on anything else. So if you want to buy Aurora, or you want to buy Skyland 4, or Skyland, I mean Luminar 4, or anything else, my discount code should work on all that other stuff. Now, one thing I want to put up, point out, uh, point out, and one reason why I brought up this screen is right here. This Luminar X membership, you see it at the top. Um, Luminar AI isn't subscription. It's one you buy it, you own it. It's not a subscription at all. Luminar X membership is like a club you're joining, and every month you're going to get like new um, templates, or you'll get um, skies, you'll get, you get stuff, you know, that will help you, you know, you know, create better images. So it's also, I think a group, um, not a hundred percent sure on this, but I think it's like a group where, uh, you could go in and share work, uh, with other Luminar X members and things like that. So Luminar X membership, um, is not a subscription to Luminar AI. Luminar AI is not a subscription product. Buy it once, you own it. Luminar X is just a membership where you get stuff every month, um, you know, like sky packs, um, stuff like that. All right. So um, sounds pretty exciting. I can't wait to get my hands on it. In the description below this video, I'll have links to all this stuff. I'll also have my discount code down there just in case. I'll give it a try. You never know. Uh, but, um, you know, let it, you know, see if you like it, um, get, be one of those first 30,000 people and you could, and you already own a Skyland product. You could get it for 69 bucks. So that sounds pretty cool. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>